Welcome back. Lawlessness in Goa is back with a new face. The assault on Haryana tourists by the associates of an alleged history cheater are all an indication of a real estate war. Complaint is registered at the Kalangut police station on Saturday. Out of five, three tourists have been brutally assaulted. Presently, they are under treatment at Rundavan Hospital in Mapsa. They were discharged from GMC at midnight in an unconscious state. Kalangut police informed Prudent Media that four of the Haryana-based tourists are builders by profession. They were clicking some photographs next to the Baga Bridge, an eye-catching area where the assault took place. Haryana registered swift car is also damaged very badly as the mob pelted stones and hit the car with dandas and iron rods. However, one Nicolo Araujo has been arrested by police. <laughs> Victims identified as Sudhir Singh, Satyendra Singh, Krishna Sharma, Dinesh Araujo and Manjit Singh. However, speaking to prudent media, victims denied any real estate link in Goa. तो गोवा सरकार से ये है कि हमारा जो सामान है वो दिलवाए हमको इंसाफ दिलवाए और हमको यहाँ पे अभी भी ढूंढ रहे हैं वो हमार को वाए हमारे घर तक पहुँचाने का इंतजाम करे ये गोवा सरकार से अभी भी जांच का खतरा है वो घूमते रहते हैं यहाँ पे मारने के लिए कि तुम्हारे व्यान मत दो हमारे व्य केस मत करो Act of GMC to discharge two victims late Saturday night at around 2.30 a.m. Victims carrying a gun creates a strong suspicion in the case. Our reporter Basuri Desai and Shamsundar Fateh for Prudent Media. The logjam seems to continue between the Archaeological Survey of India and the Old Goa churches. ASI is replacing the old wiring in the Basilica of Bon Jesus. The church authorities say that ASI does not maintain the heritage aspect while carrying out such work. Maintenance work like these carried out by the Archaeological Survey of India does not find favour with the church authorities at Old Goa. The ASI is accused of not maintaining its heritage value while conducting such repair work. I sent them two or three letters telling them to you know that this work done is very amateurish. It's not a profession at all. You see. It doesn't even suit the place, the ambience of the place. Even the casings are, are cutting across the thing. They could have, you know, camouflaged the casing, you know, because this is a, a world famous monument. It's a world heritage structure. But without any, uh, you know, concern about that, they have sometimes, you know, what that uh, things are done here, which are very, look very, very amateurist. So in that sense, I feel, you know, there must be more, uh, more uh, dialogue between the church and the ASI. However. Officials at the Goa Circle of ASI refused to comment on camera. They said that the church authorities want to conduct the work in their own way, which is not possible. Our reporter Jason Suarez with video journalist Sunny Narvikar. Government of India is likely to set up an oceanarium in Goa with all its technical and financial support. Goa government has received a proposal for oceanarium from Union government. If the project succeeds, then Goa would be the first state to have such an oceanarium. Meanwhile, Goa Chamber of Commerce and Industry along with state government has envisaged IT incubation center at Verna that would be inaugurated by the end of this month. An oceanarium can be either a marine mammal park or even a large scale aquarium. Goa government had plans to set up an oceanarium in the state. But the project is currently under legal hurdles. But now Union Government has sent a fresh proposal to Goa Government to set up an oceanarium. In between the Government of India, I also want to have oceanarium in India. So, uh, we are looking for that proposal because they will uh, spend all money and they will give all the expertise. And uh, suppose they constructed it with uh, asset to Goa. 
Chief Secretary Sanjay Srivastava was speaking to media after attending 103rd Annual General Meeting of Goa Chamber of Commerce and Industry. GCCI, along with state government, has envisaged a state-of-the-art IT incubation centre that will help new entrepreneurs. IT incubation centre is coming up. We will be inaugurating it by the end of this month, maybe by 30th of this month. And we will say, see at least uh, 30 new entrepreneurs beginning their journey towards building up IT base in Goa. What exactly is it? They have workstations with all the amenities where you can just plug in and start your business. Industry experts feels if both the projects of Oceanarium and IT Incubation Centre succeeds, then it would boost tourism and IT industry in Goa. A senior reporter from Panchi Rakesh Kandalkar with video journalist Sarvesh Veluskar. If you are a big fan of Italian food, then it's time you paid a visit to Cafe Azul at Ciudad de Goa. Savor some of the exquisite cuisine of Italian food at the ongoing Festa Italiana Food Festival. The festival is open till the 26th of this month. The ongoing 10 day Fiesta Italiana Food Festival offers you a delicious assortment of hand tossed pizzas and homemade pastas. You can choose from a variety of pizzas like salmon, Tuscany, and margarita to pastas like pesto, Alfredo, and other mouth watering options. You can also look forward to special locally made pizzas like chicken cafriel, chicken tikka, goan chorizo, and prawn balchao. The speciality of this event is uh, we have given a lot of uh, global and local touch to the Italian pizzas. No? Generally, when you say pizza, you, you, what you think is only the salamis and um, uh, pepperonis and the Western ingredients. No? Whereas here, we use a lot of local ingredients to make the pizza. And also, you get the local flavor. We use a lot of local ingredients like even the goan toddy vinegar, chorizo, cafriel, balchong kind of uh, flavors we added to the pizza. And pasta also is already known here in the cafe, but now this time we have added a lot of uh, our uh, house specialties. Uh, this is something really interesting, exciting. I know you all like uh, pasta and pizzas a lot. And this time we made something specially for you. So I wish I welcome all of you to come and try our new uh, products here. These crispy pizzas are cooked in a special wood-fired oven using specially imported ingredients. Rest assured, the experience will leave you licking your fingers. Enjoy the distinct aromatic flavors of these exciting dishes before the 26th of this month. Bureau Report, Prudent Media. News from sports when we come back from a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs> 